Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and we, interestingly enough, didn't get a promo today. I don't know why the loading screen didn't load right there, uh, but we still have this Foot Player Days loading screen, which basically has started off with an SBC, and it has started off with a new Icon Swaps. There wasn't a ton that came out today, except for Icon Swaps, Charisma, and of course, new season objectives. So I want to talk about this stuff today. I want to talk about Icon Swaps 3 because that is the information that is, you know, at the forefront of our minds at the moment. Uh, and, you know, I think the player selection is good, but I think the timing is the problem here. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit today too. One thing I want to note you guys with is we just got new uh, UCL Man of the Match cards and a Europa League Man of the Match out on Giz as well. Um, I think those are the only new cards that we got. I can't find any other new ones, but they literally just dropped... And we also got updates to uh, check your road to the final Konates. I think Angelino would have gotten upgraded as well. And then check uh, your parties because party, I think, just got an upgrade to an 88 rated because his card was 87 before. And this is a new dynamic image. So I think this card literally just got updated. Price range has gotten updated as well, if I'm correct on that. I haven't been following this card that much uh, because honestly, the teams that won... The first uh, set of games in UCL weren't really projected to, I guess, in the first like grand scheme of things. Like, think about it. Atlanta won, and they had an SBC Gomez. They barely even got into the tournament anyway. And here we are with, uh, you know, Ilicic's headliner got an upgrade to a 90 rated after this 89 came out. So now this is his highest rated card with the headliner. Uh, 82 pace, 92 shooting. So there's a, probably a little bit of hype for this card, but it's just not meta enough to be super duper good. Uh, although I'm sure he's decent in game, but I just want to inform you guys on some of this stuff. I'm kind of a fan of this Kempembe. We're going to watching this, be watching this card's price over the next couple days. I think Oblak and Kempembe are going to be good out of packs investments as um, these man of the match cards almost always are in foot. So we'll be keeping a close eye on those. But again, back to icon swaps, because this is the main content that we, that we got today. And we've actually been seeing this happen happening when we've gotten icon swaps in the past. A lot of times, a lot of times, and they're dropping this these new sets. That they restart the season, they drop a new icon swaps. We don't get a lot of other content. There was one Friday, I think it might have been icon swaps one, where they messed up the release time. It was on a Friday where we actually got other content as well. But a lot of times, what we're seeing here is when they drop these, there's not a lot of other content that goes with it. And I want to talk about this today because. I think the season is the biggest problem here. I love this. This player selection is fine with me. Of course, there are some big names that are left out here. Why do we need Baby Zidane? Even if you would have made this middle Zidane, I think this this uh, upper tier, upper echelon, the 21 plus tokens would have been, you know, a little bit just that much more better. But I think the player selection here is is good. I think this is good player selections. We have a prime Kaká. We have middle Dog Leash. We have Maradona, we have Riquelme, the brand new icon of foot, Petit, Cannavaro, Burkamp, Rush. Like that middle tier 15 to 20 tokens is, I, I would argue that some of those players in there are almost just as equal to or better than the 21 plus range that we have with Carlos Alberto, Garincha, and Zidane. And then in the 6 to 13 range as well, we have some solid cards. Again, it is basically a couple middles. Um, of course, you do have Baby Hullet and Baby Zidane, but then you have... Um, a bunch of solid mid mids and then primes and do we have do we actually have any primes Kaka and Kaka and Garincha are the only primes in this set and then after that there's a lot of moments so I like that there's a lot of moments in this set but um, I just want to start talking about the time frame for all this because unless any of these guys that are inside of this set of icon swaps if any of these players are your end game guy that you've wanted to have in your team for a long time or it's just somebody that you're a huge fan of and you want to have that card untradeable. If it's any other player, especially if it's above 12 tokens, right? The first 12 tokens are available right now. If you're waiting for any of these players that is above 12 tokens or anything that is above what you can achieve right now with the objectives in game or even above this prime icon pack, um, you better be going all the way to the top or you better like you better really want that Kaka because... 15 the first 12 tokens are out right now this season is 83 days long so it's almost going to take us into the end of foot this is going to take us for a long time right this just this first season right now season five is 43 days 42 43 days is that what it says in the top right 42 days long 
is how long these icon swap tokens are going to be here. Let me put that into perspective for you. We're almost going to be, uh, well, we actually are going to be in May. It's going to be May, uh, just about when these icon swaps are going to be going away and we're going to have uh, the next set come in. So you can only attain 12 swaps right now, which is, this is the biggest L for this in my opinion. If you could attain all 24 swaps in this 24 day period, that would be fantastic. Again, I mean, I guess EA wants to keep people involved with this game for the longer term, but making this 41 days long, I think is just way too long for all this stuff. There's going to be people that get this done in a week. There's going to be people that get this done in two weeks. Uh, I, I think three weeks is basically all that this needs to be. 21 days would be a perfect season time to get these 12 tokens, um, especially with more people being on the game right now because of, you know, all the virus stuff that's going around and people have more free time. School is off. Work is canceled, stuff like that. Sports are canceled. So people are getting on video games. Um, but again, right now you can only get 12 tokens. And if you're getting somebody that is above 12 tokens, you have to wait another 40 days until it, from now until you can even have a chance at getting the any of the 12 plus token swap cards from this set and again that's the biggest l it's just it's just too long of a wait to get any of these cards in my opinion although there are some quality ones this Canavaro is what 20 tokens if you want an end game center back and you're okay with waiting until basically after team of the season or during team of the season to get this card, then go, go for it, man. If, if this is, if, again, if any of these cards over 12 tokens are somebody that you really, really want for your team and you're going to be able to grind for it, then absolutely go for it. But if you're, if it's somebody than less than 12 tokens, I'm going to go for this prime icon pack because I cannot wait uh, that long to try to get one of these players in my team. My player, my, my team isn't that insane, right? But once team of the season comes around, I'm going to be having tons of tots cards in this, this side. We're going to be doing upgrade packs for days. And that's just one of my goals, right? And that's this, that's the, a lot of the logic behind my thinking of that. Why grind to get these icons, unless it's somebody that you really, really want for personal reasons, just go with the pack. Just go with the pack because you can get this in a week or two, a prime icon player. Do you know the ability of some of the players in this game that you have to pack. We're talking Prime Hullet. We're talking Prime Eusebio. I mean, there, anybody. There, there's tons of opportunity here to pack Prime cards. Prime Thierry Henry. I, just, I know I just clicked on the middle, but Prime Thierry Henry. You could pack this card from that pack. Like, it is very possible to get a very, very good pull from that pack. Now, of course, you could have you could get yourself, like, uh, Prime... Prime Gattuso or something, somebody that you don't really want, or Prime Gary Lineker, which wouldn't be the end of the world. So there are po the possibilities are endless, of course, good and bad, but I'm going to go with the pack because wh why not? Just have a little bit of fun. We're at the stage of, P of FIFA where if you're not having fun, then what's the point? Because this is towards the end of the year and, you know, you, it's just the time to have fun. I want to make one more comment though. This Schmeichel card right here. This was an issue today. This is again. This is the kind of the stuff that just makes me upset with EA here. It, they, they can't follow their own rules. Basically, in the beginning of the year, in their icon pitch notes, they said that there would be no repeats in icon swaps. If a player featured in an icon swap one or two, they would not be featured in a later icon swaps. Baby Schmeichel was featured in icon swap set number one. So obviously, people when they saw the moment Schmeichel today. Uh, went out and were pretty upset because like, oh, EA, this is not how it's supposed to be. And again, they kind of turned it back on the community with their answer. Uh, and what they said was, if I could find it really quick, they said, Peter Schmeichel has been removed from Icon Swap set three as he was included in set one. We have taken the decision to remove him from Icon Swaps in case some players would have made different selections in Icon Swaps one if they knew there was a potential to get him in Icon Swaps two or three. Well, yes, we would have made different selections, but you know, when Icon Swap set one, we were under the belief that none of these guys would be repeated, right? So I don't understand why they're throwing this in there. Basically, all they need to say is, you know, we screwed up, we're gonna take him out. But instead, they have to they make this excuse that, you know, they kind of put it back on us that we would have chosen differently if there would have been other circumstances. Well, if you just follow the real the rules and the rules that you made for yourself in the first place, we wouldn't have this problem. Just saying. Anyways. That's enough of that. Icon swap set three though. Again, overall, I like the player selection. If you're going to go above 12 swaps, um, the most end, end game cards in here, I think if you need a right back, Zidane, no thanks. Like the baby version of a card for 24 swaps, 
23 swaps. No thanks. Not for me. Garincha is a very, very good card. Carlos Alberto is a very, very good card. Canavaro at 20 tokens. If you're up here in this 20 token range, it all depends on what you really need for your team. And that's a, on a diff, it's a case-by-case -case basis for every single one of you because you look at your own team, you look at what you need, stuff like that. If you have Player of the Month Messi, you're probably not doing Garincha. If you have Team of the Year Van Dyke and uh, Team of the Year Delict, you're probably not doing Canavaro. And, you know, maybe if you did Zanetti from one of the first Icon swaps, maybe you don't want to take Carlos Alberto. So you know what I mean? It's kind of a tough situation. But once you get up here to 20 tokens, Canavaro is probably a great pick. Carlos Alberto, if you need a right back, is fantastic. Petit is a rock in this game. You can play him as center back. Um, but then other than that, I think this is what might be one of the best value cards. 16 tokens for either one of these two attackers, Bergkamp or Rush. This Rush card got a fantastic boost, of course, as you guys know from his uh, Prime card. That card is very, very hyped up. And then, of course, if you just want to use Kaká on your team, if your goal, if you're a Brazilian and you want to get Kaká on your team for links, this isn't terrible at 15 swaps as well. And if you're going to go above 12 to get this center back Maldini, this is a pretty solid card in FIFA too. But if you're going anywhere around the 10 or 9 or under swap range, just go with the Icon Pack. Seriously, just go with the Icon Pack. Have some fun with it uh, unless you, you really want Trezeguet, Gattuso, Lodrup, or, or Puyol on your team. I think the icon pack is the way to go when you factor in time and when you factor in, um, you know, just the worth of those cards, especially if you have a team that is anywhere near mine. Now, I know a lot of you guys might not, but that's just kind of my thoughts on the icon swap situation. Other stuff that came in FIFA today. Not a lot of other content. Icon swaps, again, was kind of the main thing. We had Ricardo Quaresma flashback. Of course, he is in the Turkish league. But this is a FIFA favorite. This is a throwback. Like he's a he's a FIFA legend. Charisma is 90 pace, 90 through dribbling, five star skills with a four star weak foot. Travella finishes. Um, obviously a freaking sick player. And then of course once they implement the new update to FIFA, we're gonna be able to see all of his traits in here: 93 agility, 90 balance, 96 aggression. So a really awesome super sub. If you have a Portuguese team, and if you're if you're a fan of Quaresma, then maybe you can slide him in at a right mid position. Maybe get a little link with like a Cancelo or a Ricardo Pereira, a right back special card. Get a link to Quaresma, and then you know maybe throw in a Portuguese icon somewhere else to, to link Quaresma, either at like a striker or a center mid. Um, if you have that at your availability, that's a pretty cool looking card. We didn't get anything else really today, did we? Uh, these are all older SBCs. The 84 to 91, we got an 83 rated plus, which I think this is just kind of a, re they, they replaced the um, the 81 plus with the 83 plus. So that is there. And then of course, storyline as well. I want to talk about this for a second. Uh, season progress, storyline players, whatever you call it. Coin boost, uh, some decent packs. A moment's loan Maldini is cool. I assume that has something to do with a uh, objective down the line. Campfire badge. Dope. We have some pretty cool badges and, and themes and stuff in here. Del Piero Lona Suite. That's a fun looking card. I wish this guy would have been in swaps, but they already used his middle. A um, couple new celebrations. Some badges again, some packs. And then this is where it gets good. Uh, as an American, I love this card. I'm definitely going to be choosing Josh Sargent, a up and coming youngster for the US. Three star, three star. Decent looking card. Another Japanese, Maeda. This guy looks freaking sweet, man. I don't know what it is this year with the Japanese cards getting into foot or not foot swaps, but um, milestone players, storyline, I mean. Uh, this is awesome. Another storyline Japanese players. You can like almost fill out an entire Japanese special squad now with these with these, uh, with these these storyline Japanese players, which is sweet. And then Thornsby as well. Pretty nice looking card. All around center, mid, CDM. In the Serie A. So that's a pretty solid reward, I think. Again, some more badges and kits, celebrations. Anything looking really good here. Some some animals. Interesting. Uh, Let's Dance Celebration. What's this about? All right, not bad. We'll, we'll go with that. And then if you guys get all the way up here, Boogie Down. What's this? What's up with the dancing celebrations? This is crazy. Anyway, this is what everybody wants to get to. Level 30. The Fred Manchester United storyline player. High, high work rates. Four star, four star. This is going to be a very, very meta card. It's basically like a Tots-esque Fred. Not quite team of the season, but a really good card. There's going to be so many people going after this. Brazilian Lynx will reign king in a couple weeks here as people can get to level 30. Bilotti looks like a sick card as well. Carrasco looks really dope too, but this guy's going to have the hype. He's Manchester United, of course. He's Brazilian. 
tons of people are going to be getting this card and using him throughout the end of the game if you guys grind to level 30 that's going to be by far the number one choice for sure but so that's a cool card right there in my opinion as well but that was kind of it for today's content honestly but there are a couple things that i want to talk about to finish off this video um which is some very interesting information that it's going to affect us um based on the virus and the stuff that's going on it's going to affect fifa ultimate team content and i want to talk you guys through that so EA FIFA Direct tweeted this a couple hours ago. They said, we will not be releasing Team of the Week 27 due to the ongoing suspensions of football leagues around the world. However, it will be replaced with player content available in packs and via foot champions player picks from next week going forward, basically. This is an ever-changing situation, one we're working hard to adapt to as we move forward. We'll have more information on this and other up upcoming content next week. So, first of all, EA Sports, I appreciate the communication here. This is awesome, and I'm glad that you are actually communicating. So thank you about thank you for that. We appreciate that. But this intrigues me. We will be replacing player content available in packs and foot champions player picks from next week. So basically, we're going to have Team of the Week 27 next week, and it's going to be made up of whatever the heck EA wants it to be made up of. Is that new? Eh, not really, because Team of the Week every week is technically made up by EA. They just kind of have to make it fit within a certain boundary of who played well or who played semi-well that we can throw into Team of the Week this week. So they're used to doing that. They're used to creating a Team of the Week every week. But what are they going to do with this? In my opinion, I think they're going to be re-releasing old cards from old Team of the Weeks, from old uh, special teams. I don't know if this is really going to be new content. I would like to see a mix of this with new content. What I would really love to see, and you guys have talked about this before, is seeing new promo cards and seeing the promo cards like... Like last week, we had Copa Libertadores, right? Maybe throw some Libertadores cards as red picks and, and then mix Libertadores and Team of the Week as red picks. You know, like they did some of that stuff last year during Team of the Season. They did Team of the Season in red picks. I think it'd be cool at this stage of the game to start doing some of that now. But uh, this is going to have some big time market implica implications if they do start throwing in old cards from old Team of the Weeks back into packs, of course. That means a card that is out of packs is now back in packs, means supply coming onto the market, and probably some prices dropping. So this is another way where we could be affected by the market this week. And of course, they're going to be providing more information going forward. We're not going to really know what they plan to do with this stuff until they go forward. But if you guys are playing the weekend league this weekend, uh, whatever your rewards will be, I I'm interested in that. You know what? I'm actually going to register because I think that it's going to, I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of the Weekend League. Registration ends in 5 hours, 16 minutes. All right, we're good. I want to get the red picks because I just want to see what they do. I'm curious to see what they do this week with Weekend League rewards, and that's my entire desire for wanting to play Weekend League. And I would recommend if you guys have the time, maybe you have extra time this week because of, of no school or whatever, maybe go for it. Maybe give it a shot and see if you can get, you know, um, 14 wins, gold three, and, and then whatever they put into packs for rewards, you have that opportunity to pack those cards. So that's just kind of my thoughts on that. And then lastly, a short little blurb about EA's as a company about what they're doing for coronavirus. I don't know if this is going to impact FIFA, um, but I want to scroll down here. I read through all of this and I want to just kind of highlight something for you. They said they've been working on it basically for a while, the past couple of months. Uh, locations already have been closed. Teams are working from home. But as of today, which this was tweeted um, on Friday. So as of Friday, we have transitioned to strongly recommending um, that all of our employees in North America, Europe, and Australia work from home until April 1st to help limit the potential exposure and the spread of the illness. So EA is going to be working from home until April 1st as of right now. So this is going to be interesting to know and to see how that affects our content and game, how that affects our availability of you know, FIFA accounts and stuff like that. I'm really curious to see what happens over the next couple of days. If this changes content at all, if we get more communication because of this, if we get less communication because of this, it's all just going to have to be kind of a wait and see type of thing until we actually start to see some of this pan out and see what EA decides to do with the, the, uh, the opportunity and with the situation that is presented before us. But it's going to be interesting to follow regardless. Uh, and of course, once EA continues to post about it, we'll just kind of figure out information and stuff like that. But again, these, uh, speaking of communication, these man of the match UCL cards tonight were not tweeted about. They were not tweeted about when they were dropped. These live upgrades were not tweeted about when they were dropped as well. 
Um, so actually, I don't know if that's upgraded yet. I don't know if that's upgraded yet, to be honest. That might not be upgraded. He might have just gotten a new dynamic image. Those, those card sets might be the same as I'm thinking about it now. But these are definitely new cards. And if these are not upgraded, again, I haven't watched this card that much. Uh, then we will see the upgrade in the very, the very near future. But again, um, have yourself a good look at the Icon Swap Set 3. Really think hard before you know, you, you're know set in stone about a decision. Uh, I'm definitely going for the Prime Icon Pack. I would love to have that within a week because I think that's the best value. You can get it short, quick, uh, within, a, within a couple weeks at the very longest, and you'll have a Prime Icon Pack, chance to pack a big card. Um, of course, you're taking a chance, but it's, it's a point of the game where you might as well, right? So that's my feelings on Icon Swap 3, today's content. And some of the other coronavirus stuff that is going on, it's going to impact our game. We'll talk more about that later this weekend and in upcoming videos, of course, as we get more information as well. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Let me know down in the comments who you guys are taking from Icon Swaps. If you have somebody that you really want to take, if you're a huge Hullet guy and you just want to get Hullet in your team, you know, 10 swaps for Hullet, okay? If you're a, if you're a Lampard fan, go get your Lampard. Kaka, go get him. So just tell me what you guys are thinking about down below. Um, if you're somebody who grinds all of the tokens, some people are saying that like Maldini, so the 24 tokens, people are saying that Maldini and, uh, the pack might be like the best way to go. 13 tokens and nine. So you get to, uh, 22 there. You could even go Kaka in the pack technically, right? Because if there's 24 swap tokens available, nine swaps and 15. So you could go Kaka in the pack if you really wanted to. Uh, and get both of those. So there's something you could do if you want to do a little double up situation if you're going to grind all the swaps. But let me know in the comments what you're going to be going for with those. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.